morning time where I didn't get interrupted by another day happening. Sick. We will now hold a meeting on our investigation of the serial kidnapping slash murder case here in Inaba. Stop trying to sound so fancy about this. Dude, take a breath. That's what I was thinking. Oh, then does that make this place our special headquarters? Somewhat strange for headquarters. Also, yeah, they're wearing green and red again. Yes, Come on, exactly. Girls. Nicely put, Yukiko. Yes, okay, calm the fuck down. Special headquarters. Hmm. That does have a nice ring to it. It's not even hidden or anything, though. Anyways, as for what was on last night. It was a dude. Did you watch? I was gonna say, who was that? I saw it too. Oh, yeah, we know who. We couldn't get a good view of the person's face, but it was a guy, wasn't it? Sexist. So they that you saw someone who looked like a high schooler, and everyone went, "Hi, huh?" Hmm. Wait a moment. Yeah. Didn't all the victims have one thing in common? That they were females with ties to the first incident? So far, but that might just be a coincidence. That's what we thought. But we still don't know who exactly we saw. In my case, the image on the Midnight Channel changed after I was kidnapped, right? It did, so they, maybe they haven't been kidnapped yeah. yet. The screen got clear all of a sudden, and the program looked like some low-budget TV show. So that means they're safe Come for the moment. Come to think of it, maybe Teddy was right. Maybe we were seeing the other Yukiko from that world. Wouldn't be surprising. But last night, we couldn't clearly see whoever it was. So they may not be there yet. Does that mean he isn't inside the TV yet? It means that the TV world knows who the next target is. If so, Which is kind of horrifying. He's still safe for now. Uh-huh. I think that's safe to assume. If we can figure out who he is, can we prevent him from being taken? Well, if you can't work it out, then probably not. Yeah, and if all goes well, we might catch the killer in the bargain. But you can only use personas in the TV world, as far as we know, so it doesn't help too much. How would you? But you'd have to swap them with the real world powers, and that would suck. I'm just assuming. Hey, like how many? What percentage of serial killers are male? It's a safe assumption. But to do that, we need to know who the latest Midnight Channel. Have star they said is. the killer is male? Like, have they just said hey, just non, uh, just casually before? I hate to say it, but I guess we'll have to wait another night and see what happens. But if it doesn't rain tonight, then we're screwed. <clears throat> well, that means if my deductions are correct... What? Though the image was hard to make out, and we can't say for sure who it was, it was definitely a young male. So just keep an eye on every single young male in Inaba. But if that's the case, it goes entirely against our prior assumption. You're doing the voice thing that Yosuke was doing Since before. We cannot identify the person at this time. We have no choice but to wait and see what happens. You sound like Kyoko, but with way more emotion put into it. And like you're intentionally doing it instead of it just being your natural voice. That's exactly what we just said. Well... Shut up! <laughs> now, now, now you've lost <laughs> it a little bit. Oh goodness, here she goes again. <laughs> <laughs> she wasn't it wasn't even that much of a what? <laughs> oh no my, my funny bone <laughs> It wasn't even that fun I mean I love your laughing fatigue but it wasn't even that funny. Not again. <laughs> Sorry <laughs> Oh goodness. This is how Yukiko really is, huh? Who'd have thought? No me! No me at all. By the way, about that guy we saw? I get the feeling I've seen him before. Well, he's a high schooler. Pretty so, recently, too. Oh, you too? Yeah, I've been thinking the same thing since last night. It's fucking Kanji! God! Well, let's check the TV again tonight and think Okay, I know it's I'm, I'm assuming it's Kanji because of the way storytelling works, but still... What? <laughs> and she's still going. Not in agreement. And then she still goes. <gasps> when are you gonna stop that, you crazy hyena? Calm down, goodness. She's a... <laughs> That's a good one, Chie. Okay, I don't think Yukiko knows what jokes are. <laughs> oh, Chie. Evening. Do I get to do something tonight? Welcome back. Oh, it's just raining again. So, it's a bad influence on Annika. The quiz shows. <laughs> oh, the biking things. Anything interesting in the fridge? 
Nothing catches your eye of the tiger. Sorry. This is the part of the Let's Play where I lose my mind. Like 10 hours in. <laughs> Yo! Image. Oh, he's fighting back! A figure appeared. The image is unfocused, but you feel like you've seen him before. Because he's wearing a jacket and it's flailing around. He's still safe. Beep, beep, beep. Did you see that? He was fighting back. Hey, I can just, I can just straight up say it might be Kanji Tatsumi. I can just say that. Yeah, I think so too. Okay, good. These guys are actually working it out. I mean, the first image you couldn't really tell, but now that he's fighting back and everything, okay, I'm glad that they can tell. The first image I can forgive them for not working it out immediately. I just, you know, could work it out because it's how storytelling works. I knew I saw him somewhere. Yeah. It was on TV. He was on that special news report. Yeah, being a violent really badass. Scary dude. He was even yelling at the camera to get bent. Oh man, oof. He's gonna start telling them to eat his shorts or just screaming cowabunga soon. Man, I'm all fucking right. scared. So we finally have a lead. Let's all get together tomorrow, okay? Oh, I almost forgot. But it's gonna... It's kinda off subject, but as long as you're on the line, mind if I ask something? Shouldn't we, like, go get him now? We're gonna get tomorrow and he's just gonna be all tired Jesus, he's gone. He's fucking gone. Is it about Yukiko? It's something I've been meaning to ask for a while. Are you asking me out? So I might be inclined to say yes to that. So, uh, what do you think about <laughs> Yukiko and Chie? I mean, well, let's not mince words. Which one's your type? Marie? Guy, can I answer? <laughs> can I answer Marie? <laughs> oh, you can't answer Marie. Um, this is a tough decision. There's a tough decision. So the problem is, the parts of Chie that I like, I like more than Yukiko. But the parts of Chie that I dislike, I dislike more than the parts I dislike about Yukiko. So I don't know. But I'm a big fan of threesomes. <laughs> Your understanding has increased. <laughs> Seriously? Well, you get a better chance that way. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. I chose correctly. Yeah. Hey, but don't worry. This is just between you and me. Sure, sure. I'm gonna get to school tomorrow, and they're gonna be like, "You're the person." See you tomorrow. This is not between just us. Oh man, I'm gonna be in so much shit with them tomorrow. It's gonna suck. Or well, they will. Boom. <laughs>